through the process of Revelation Road 1, 2, and 3, I think you see um, the anger and the resentment that, that my character has with the world in general and in God specifically um, because of things that happened to him and, and the people that were taken from his life. And I think that's indicative of a lot of people. When, when something bad happens in somebody's life, they, they always go, well, where was God? Mm. Why didn't he help me? Or why, why was he not there to protect? Um, and I'm going to blame him. And I think people... In general, and I did the same thing with my career. I blamed everybody but myself. We're very good at pointing fingers forward, but we're never very good at pointing the fingers at ourselves when we when we have to take responsibility and, and claim our moral compass is, is broken. Um, Hog had to deal with a lot of things going forward, but at some point in time, he had to let go of his anger. So you see that through the Revelation Road 1 and 2. The rapture happens. Um, obviously, he didn't go, so he's still here, and he's he's battling what is left over, and he still has a dark side. He still has things that he hasn't um, reconciled with God with, so you'll pick up in Revelation Road, the series, um, where he is um, currently and, and, and what his plight is moving forward uh, and, and what his purpose is, and he, he, he teams up with, with uh, Josh. Um, who's played by David A.R. A. R. White. And they go on, um, I'm not going to say an adventure because it's not really an adventure. It's a quest to, to free his daughter, uh, my daughter. And uh, she's been taken by the king. Um, and um, it just, it's just a, a continuation of the seven years of the tribulation um, as the story moves forward. Brian Bosworth joining us today here on the Meeting House on Faith Radio National Religious Broadcasters Convention in Orlando. This is The Meeting House on Faith Radio. Revelation Road, the series, is coming soon this fall, as a matter of fact, and it will be available through Pure Flix, just like the three films in the series. And we talked just a bit about the, the thematic aspects mm -hmm. of, of this particular film. Obviously, it's called Revelation Road, taking place in the last day scenario. You could also say that it is really a redemptive type of series, even though there are, as we might say, some dark and edgy elements. There's mm -hmm. plenty of action in it, but ultimately redemption is the, the overall theme. Well, that's certainly the goal. And, you know, if you look at where we are currently in our, in our society, mm -hmm. we, I don't know, the powers to be have successfully divided um, everybody across the globe and it's happening at such a rapid pace i just read uh, an article that here in the united states um, those that believe in god um, have reached an all-time low of 50 percent so half of our population um, believes and the other half is wandering around and i'm not you can't say that they're broken but mm. they're certainly not they're not attaching themselves to something that is needed in their life and you know as humans, we are probably the most devastating creature on this planet, um, and yet we have the capacity to have so much love and compassion, but for some reason, we fight for the most unimportant things, and we, we miss the big picture of why we're really here and the positive impact that we can have. Through this movie, I think it really provides a sense of after it's all said and done, there is still hope. Mm. You still have hope while you're here, and there is an opportunity for you to choose redemptive. But it really comes to um, comes down to the bottom line of choice: Do you choose to accept Him as the Living Christ in your life and let Him uh, f um, bring you to salvation, or do you feel like it's it's not real and you you're going to run you're going to run the race on your own, and at the end of the day, you're you're going to be exhausted and left alone. And it, it really is a powerful uh, moment in time for everybody to come to a reflective moment of where are they at. I use these four questions. Where are you from? Yeah. Where are you at? Where are you going? And what are you willing to give up to get there? Mm. Um, and That's good. it really is a, it's a reflection of your entire life. And even though there might be some dark things in your past, those dark things can then be shed onto light. But you have to ask for that forgiveness. You have to ask for him to come into your heart and, and, uh, and save you.